Hello everyone, welcome to the course of Data Communications and Networks. In today's class, we are going to learn about a topic called Overview of the Transport Layer in the Internet. Okay, So in order to have a transport layer knowledge with respect to the Internet, we need to talk about the two protocols, uh, which are the services provided by this particular transport layer. So the transport layer is represented by two protocols. First one is the TCP protocol. And the second one is the UDP protocol. Okay, let's see the protocols one by one. So UDP, let's see UDP. UDP stands for user datagram protocol. Okay, so this is a generally a simple protocol uh, which provides uh, a transport functionality with irrespective of the sequence. Okay, so this UDP user datagram protocol can also be called as a connectionless protocol. Okay. So this is mostly used when reliability as well as security are very much less important than the speed as well as size, okay? So in internet, we'll be browsing uh, several web pages and we'll be doing some uh, banking applications and we'll be uh, whatnot. There are multiple taskings running, uh, running in this particular uh, using internet, right? So this particular user datagram protocol is used when reliability as well as the security are very much less important than the speed as well as the size, okay? So let us say, for example, we are browsing through a Chrome or a Google web server or take any web server, okay? So whenever you are searching for a content, sometimes the pages uh, collapse all, uh, or sometimes the pages will not respond and we don't even bother about the security of that particular several links, okay? So at that particular concept or that particular uh, part, this kind of protocol can be utilized. Suppose we are having some sort of uh, uh, conference, video conference kind of thing, okay? So all the people who have this particular video conference link, mostly they can join directly with the username password and everything okay so it's not a big deal about this particular security suppose whatever we are talking okay we are conveying sometimes whatever we are conveying due to the internet connectivity problem or some sort of issues the other participants may not hear that particular thing so at that particular time where uh, the security as well as, as the data reliability is uh, less uh, given priority than the speed as well as size okay so this particular at these particular kind of applications the user data protocol will be used and this udp is an end-to-end -end transport level protocol that will be having some sort of transport level addresses checksum error control mechanisms and also it will be having the length information about the data of uh, which is coming from the further or the upper layers okay and the pro packet or the data packet produced by this particular UDP protocol is known as this particular user datagram, which will be having several addresses, checksums, as well as length of the uh, information related to the data, which is uh, in packed into that, okay? So it will, all this uh, um, data or the addresses or the checksums or the uh, information related to the length will be integrated into that whatever the data we are sending. That particular data packet is considered as our user datagram. Now coming to the another protocol called TCP protocol, it is one of the most famous protocol among the internet connectivity. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Okay, so it provides full transport layer services to the applications. So it helps in data transfer, it helps in getting the acknowledgement once the data is transmitted, whatnot. There will be lots and lots of functions and the operations going on when the data is getting transmitted or the receiving end. Okay. So it is a connection oriented protocol, which means the connection need to be established between both the end of the transmission. Let us say two devices are talking or two devices are transmitting some sort of messages. Okay. So this particular protocol over the internet helps in establishing a good connection such that the transmitter will be transmitting the data packet 
and the receiver receives that particular data packet. Once the receiver receives that particular data packet, again, the acknowledgement will be sent to the uh, transmitter from the receiver. Okay, So the whole process will be looking after with the help of this transmission control protocol. Okay, So it's a kind of creating or generating a virtual circuit between the sender and the receiver uh, whenever this particular transmission is happening. Okay, So the major advantages or we can also call it as the features of a TCP transmission control protocol is it can stream the data and also transfer the data and reliability is one of the main advantage in, in TCP and the flow control of the data will be very much observed in the TCP protocol and multiplexing, demultiplexing, if at all you want to combine the several application data into a single um, segment through the ports, if at all you want to uh, separate the data which is coming from the ports and assigned to that particular uh, receiver, okay, all the multiplexing of the data and the demultiplexing of the data and the logical connections and the full duplex, all these operations will be done with respect to the TCP protocol, okay. So coming to the UDP datagram protocol, it is a connectionless uh, protocol where the security and the reliability is not much concerned, okay? And the TCP is one of the most important protocol throughout the internet where the reliability, security, and uh, everything is considered in this particular TCP, okay?